So the time has come. Uh, I've been talking about it for quite some time here on the channel and uh, it's actually happening. So say hello to Cody. Uh, yeah, this is the current state of our property and uh, the pond doesn't usually get quite that big. Uh, it will maybe once or twice a year, but uh, this has actually gone down quite a bit from where it was. We got uh, I'd say close to 8 to 10 inches of rain in the last three weeks. So it has just been, uh, uh, frankly, it's been kind of a nightmare. But uh, so uh, for a long time on the channel, I've been talking about, uh, say hello, Cody. I've been talking about selling this place, this little three acres that we're on, and uh, buying my in laws' farm. So that's actually coming to fruition. Uh, we have agreed on a price and we have now listed our property uh, for sale uh, on the MLS so uh, this place is currently for sale um, we've had uh, a couple of people come and look at it uh, I don't think that we're priced quite as competitively as we could be but there also isn't a whole lot on the market now so uh, it's only been a few days so we'll see what happens but uh, very excited about this guys we're very excited to uh, get our animals onto some dry ground and uh, have more of it. Uh, more, more acres to play on and an actual barn uh, to keep our hay in. So anyway, uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go for a drive here real quick. We're gonna go take a look at the new farm. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. Stay tuned. All right guys, pulling up to the place right now. Uh, Lucky for me, I don't know if you guys can see that there, but there is a pond that my father-in-law put some bass in back in the early 80s uh, when they first bought this place. Uh, there's a few pretty good cleared out spots. I, I caught, I've caught a couple pretty good sized bass out of that pond in my uh, my time here, but um, I'm, I'm hoping they're not home. I know they don't like to be on video, but there's a the farmhouse. Well, and there's the old dairy barn. So we're gonna park the truck and uh, we'll, we'll get out and take a walk. All right, so here it is. We got the, uh, the outdoor arena, pretty good sized. This, uh, this is the place that my wife grew up, guys. So uh, for, this, for us, this is really special. Um, you know, she grew up just a little tyke, you know, playing in this, this barn and she's loaded uh, countless thousands of bales into that barn with her family. Uh, this is where she's broke several horses. So uh, this is, you know, for us, it's really special. There's an old horse trailer that the uh, in-laws use for uh, hauling trash to the dump. And uh, so this is uh, currently a dog pen, but we're gonna turn it into a big big chicken coop uh, we're not gonna let our <clears throat> our flock of chickens uh, free range the way that they do on our farm currently uh, we're just gonna keep them in this little uh, area I think it's about I don't know 30 feet by 40 feet or something like that build a nice big coop somewhere in there um, so anyway that's that that's gonna be a tack room so here's a machine shed uh, has four bays and uh, it's pretty pretty decent size we'll be able to fit the horse trailer my wife's truck uh, the baler tatter rake and all that so uh, probably gonna do the horse trailer wife's truck over there uh, hay equipment in this one I guess I'll let her make that decision which one she wants I don't really care I figure that one would be easier to back a, uh, a trailer and you just come in the roundabout and back straight in so uh, this portion and that portion uh, I'm gonna turn into my shop so I'm gonna put some sort of a probably a roll-up door there uh, I plan on insulating it at least the the back portion of it I'm gonna put up a wall down here uh, pour some concrete there and I'm gonna add another roll-up or another uh, sliding door so I'm just going to continue that track up there 
Um, so yeah, if I need to get big material in here, uh, it, that's nice tall opening there. I believe that's 12 feet. So that's, uh, that is fantastic. I, I plan on maybe putting in a gantry uh, crane in here for moving heavy steel or uh, you know if I have to split a, uh, a tractor or, or whatever I, I, I could have the capacity to do that plenty of space here so I'll be uh, I'll be close to doubling my shop space uh, I haven't measured the square foot but anyway guys so there's the machine shed I'm really, really looking forward to keeping the hay equipment under cover instead of under tarps or just kind of strewn about the property uh, wherever it best fit. All right, so let's take a look here at the uh, the front of the barn. So we're not going to go inside uh, this portion uh, just yet because my in-laws have uh, personal items in there and I just prefer to respect their privacy but uh, here's the old uh, the tank room I don't know if you can see that in there let's see oh yeah the door hasn't been opened in a while nice big I think it's like a 300 gallon tank diesel tank so that's awesome get that baby cleaned out and uh, I'll have diesel in a very convenient location so containers going uh, that's their little enclosed trailer that's that's going a lot of this a lot of the stuff that you're seeing here is going to go um, i'm sure they're probably going to leave us with a lot of <laughs> a lot of things to clean up but uh you can see lots of broken windows uh we plan on replacing all those broken window panes and uh and painting that so we want to we want to try and keep this as original as possible uh yeah so this this will all be opened up I'm planning on uh, fencing it, sectioning it off, and it can be either an area to store round bales or uh, maybe a place to keep uh, young calves. Uh, this, the, the sky's the limit, we have lots of options. Here's a little 12 foot boat I just picked up off Craigslist for uh, super cheap. I got the boat and trailer with titles. Uh, no holes in the boat, no leaks, uh, everything, everything is there, it's copacetic, it works, uh, just need to get a good motor for it, um, $350, guys, heck of a good deal there, uh, yeah, so the Mac and the dump truck, they're, uh, they're going, and, uh, yeah, he's got this really cool old Oliver manure spreader, he used it up until not too long ago. It's had a rough life uh, sitting outside, but isn't that thing just awesome? So, yeah, this is all, this is gonna be really nice. Uh, we're gonna, I think I stated this in a different part of the video, but we're gonna put a manure bunker back here somewhere. Uh, it'll be really nice uh, to keep manure on concrete, be able to scrape it up. Uh, good and clean um, we can also keep implements back here like my manure spreader uh, so uh, in a different part of the video I was gonna go in here but so this dairy used to I, I think they milked about 30 head out of here and uh, somewhere in here yeah it's right over here a co-worker of mine Glenn back when he was in his teens or just out of high school he graduated in 76, and so he wrote that. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, there's part of his initials there. But anyway, that was pretty neat. So uh, this will more than likely be hay storage. We're not gonna you know, run enough cows to justify uh, feeding on both sides, but yeah, this is gonna be great, guys. So. Now, I know that I did say in a later part of this video that uh, there is no structural damage to this, but there is a little bit on this corner. You can see the bricks are, they got, they must have got whacked by a tractor or something like that. Or maybe they had a really angry bull at one time that got out of, <laughs> out of control, but uh, so that's going to need to be addressed. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have ideas for it. Um, but yeah, my tractor won't fit in here, so I might I might end up getting a smaller, like a 35 horse or something like that, like my my father-in-law's for 
for scraping manure out and whatnot, but uh, lots of electrical work to do. I think majority of the electrical in this barn is uh, antiquated. It doesn't work. So yeah, so here's the back part of the barn and uh, we'll go uh, back in time to the other part of the video. So uh, here's the paddock. We're gonna split this in half uh give half of it to the horses and then the other half we're gonna uh set up for cows so the back pasture here um well let, let me let me back up start by saying that this is uh this is about seven acres uh built in uh, i believe 1940 or 1941 it used to come with uh his surrounding 40 acre uh pieces so um, long time ago, I think shortly before my in-laws bought this, that all got sold off. And so we're left with about seven acres here, but let me, uh, get this gate open. We'll take a little, little walk through the field. Hey, what's up, Bart? I haven't, I haven't spent much time with this young guy. I don't think he's ever seen a camera before. Hey, Bubba. Oh, that's a good boy. Mm -hmm. You're okay. All right. So, uh, beautiful old barn. If she needs a coat of paint, that's that's for sure. This is where the silo used to be. Uh, I kind of wish it was there just, just for the look of it. I, I love the way the old silos look. We're going to get back to uh, how we're going to set up the pasture here in a little bit. But these Appaloosas... They're really curious, really smart critters. So, so here's the old stanchions where they used to feed. The ceiling's kind of a wreck. At uh, at time, all well, you can see that it's been leaking pretty bad. So there's gonna uh, we have a lot of work to do to this barn. Uh, in order to make it right, um, we got to replace quite a bit of roofing and uh yeah there's there's just lots to do I, I know this is really low light i hope you guys can see okay but uh we have uh all kinds of stuff to repair but what we plan on doing is splitting splitting this in half we'll feed horses on this side cows on this side and we'll be able to store hay in the back there where my father-in-law's tractor is Nice little loafing shed. It needs a little bit of work. Um, well, they just put this gate up. Anyway, there's my father-in-law's little tractor. Uh, so we can load that up with hay. We'll probably end up replacing those windows or at least putting plexiglass in it. Uh, nice concrete slab back here. We're gonna probably put um, a manure bunker uh, somewhere back here. And it'll also be really good for storing round bales. So that's gonna be nice. Um, so overall, the barn is in pretty good shape. It's, uh, like I said, it needs paint really bad. So uh, it needs a lot of things really bad, but none of it is, you know, structural or uh, it's not falling apart. So they put a new roof on it, I think 15 or some odd years ago. Uh, they put a new roof on the main part of the barn and uh, that kind of saved its life. Uh, I believe if they hadn't have done that, this thing would just be falling apart right now. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna pressure wash it, uh, paint it. We're gonna, we're gonna take good care of it. We wanna bring it back to its old glory. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna section this area off. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna be a little bit generous to my wife and the horses because that's just the kind of guy I am, but Here's, here's the pasture. So what we have, we have about, uh, this is a seven acre property, about uh, five and a half acres is actual usable pasture. And then the rest of it is, is house, driveway and all that stuff. Um, now uh, there is parts of the property that we're kind of getting hosed on. It's probably, you know, equals, somewhere around a half acre of basically unusable uh, stuff that's just, it's a, it's a really long story and I don't really need to get into it, but uh, 
uh, long story short, uh, we're not getting a full seven acres, but I plan on giving my wife two thirds of this pasture. Um, I'll take one third of it and we're probably gonna end up, I'd like to, uh, instead of buying uh, other people's steers or bull calves, I plan on buying uh, three or four bred heifers and uh, going that route. I like that idea. It makes sense to me. Uh, we don't have to. We don't. Have, we won't have to bottle feed or do anything like that. Well, if all goes well, we won't have to bottle feed. But uh, so I plan on having three or four mamas out here and some calves. And uh, I don't. I don't really plan on getting a whole lot bigger than that. I. Uh, um, I think between uh, three or four mamas and uh, three or four babies. Uh, that's that's plenty to keep me busy, plenty to keep uh, beef in our locker, and uh, yeah, we get to get to live the dream life and uh, not be completely consumed, uh, you know, after work every single day, uh, tending to you know 30 or 40 head. I mean, as much as I would like to do that, uh, you know, we only have seven acres. It's not realistic for me to try and become you know like all the other you know farming youtube channels that i look up to so this is this is just uh this is going to be uh such a big improvement for our, our quality of life uh our animals quality of life um we can we can do what we need to what we want to uh on nice sandy loam soil so this is a really big deal for us guys uh I appreciate each and every one of you that subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you very much uh, for, for spending your time uh, watching me and my shenanigans. Uh, it means a lot to me. I appreciate it. This is going to be a, uh, a fun, uh, I guess, a, a, a fun portion of Denny's Country Life, uh, the life of Denny's Country Life on YouTube, uh, fixing up the barn getting the animals over here, uh, making improvements, and uh, making this place our own. So, take you guys along for as much of it as I can. Um, it is going to be a crazy, crazy several months for us. So, essentially what ha what's gonna happen is uh, my in-laws aren't able to move out until the middle of June, and we're probably gonna be closing on our home uh, way before that, so we're gonna, more than likely buy a uh, travel trailer, park it here on the property, live with them, and uh, have our stuff in a storage unit, bring our animals over here, and start working on improvements and doing this and that, uh, <laughs> all the while working a full-time job, and uh, it's uh, remodeling inside the new, uh, well, inside the, the farmhouse, we, we have a lot of remodeling that we need to do. And so it is just going to be busy, 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 but uh, I'll do my best to keep you guys, uh, uh, we'll take you along, and uh, it's going to be fun. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I hope all is well for you uh, in your lives, and uh, God bless. Take good care. We'll catch you on the next video.